Okay, it is October 16th, which means we have a lot to talk about today in regards to some promos coming up. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. It's a Wednesday and uh, EA sadly haven't released any content at all, really. Uh, kind of sucks. I mean, no uh, really any weekly objectives, no SBCs. We have the team of the week and I'm probably guessing that we have 15k packs in the store. Well, there you go. There's our content for, uh, there you go. That's the content for us. Let's go. But with it being October 16th, in two weeks, we'll have a Halloween promo called Ultimate Scream. We have it every year or we've had it every year since SBCs were introduced back in FIFA 17. Uh, and it means that we will get, hopefully, some good content or at least something to feast our eyes upon. Um, so I thought I'd go back, show you guys what we got in the previous years and talk about what we could get, what we might get, what we probably actually will get. And, and you guys can prepare in the way you feel necessary. So here's a video that I uploaded last year. It was an Ultimate Scream pack opening. I uploaded this on the Friday, October 19th, which means that we could get Ultimate Scream in the next day or two. It could be on the 18th this year, or it could be the week after. It could be on the 25th. Who knows? I'm guessing it might be on the 18th in a couple days. Um, but as you see, we actually got no SBCs on the Friday. Nothing at all in terms of SBCs. No weekly objectives. Um, actually, we not we didn't get any promo packs either. We literally got 7.5k packs. and Oh, we did get promo packs, sorry. We got prime golds and we got premium gold packs. Um, so we got a couple promo packs and that was about it for... Uh, for the content for Ultimate Scream last year, um, obviously here, I uploaded just a pack opening because there was nothing else to do. I literally just opened a few packs and that was about it. And I think I did pack something. I think I packed a Manzukic or something like that. Um, but in terms of, of the content last year, we didn't really get anything. And going by what we sort of get this year and what we've got this year... Um, yeah, I'm not really expecting anything this year either. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I packed, uh, I packed a Manzukic. Um, slightly over the top reaction. I'm not playing the audio because, yeah. But we we did pack a 90 pace Manzukic, which is pretty cool. Um, so last year, this is what the Ultimate Scream team looked like. Um, we had, of course, really good upgrades in terms of, of two stats per player got 90. So 90 dribbling and 90 defending for Balotelli. 90 pace and 90 defending for Busquets. Um, 90 dribbling, 90 physical for Shakiri. You guys get the gist. That's what we probably will get or something similar this year. Uh, now, I found a prediction from um, foot fans on Twitter. Uh, now, it's in Spanish, but I translated it to English for you guys to see. Um, but this is his sort of prediction. Uh, the players he thinks might get it. Now, he thinks that people are just going to get a, a, a bog standard upgrade. I actually think that this year what we'll get is, um, I would guess, um, the same sort of thing. One stat or two stats upgraded to 90. Now, in previous years, they've done it differently, where they have just one stat upgraded to 90. Um, and years before that, they've done simple upgrades. So we'll see sort of how it goes. This is the FIFA 18 Scream team. Um, now, these didn't have upgrades, I don't think, or maybe they had plus ones somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how this team works. I remember now, um, these players had temporary boosts. So for like a week, two weeks, um, Kovacic would go up to a 92. Or Delefei will go up to like a 90. Um, they had temporary boosts, whereas last year they had permanent boosts that actually rose once every couple of months. So, for example, last year for a short time, Fellaini had like 91 pace and 91 physical. Um, and that's how they sort of worked last year. This year, I think they might go for a little bit of both, where they have maybe one stat upgraded and then one stat um, that gets a, a permanent upgrade and one stat that gets a temporary upgrade. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do it this year, but that's sort of how they did it last year. Now, last year, they also released player SBCs. We got Schweinsteiger last year that eventually did get, did get a good uh, good upgrade and Nep looks so different. That's crazy. Um, but he got a 90 dribbling and 90 passing to start with and eventually got 90 pace. This card was pretty decent value, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, it's covered by Nep, but like I think it was like 83 rated with three MLS players and 80 chemistry, so it's not too bad. Um, and that was pretty decent value. So uh, it was good value to get that that card back because eventually he got some really, really good upgrades um, and looked a lot better in game when he had 90 pace. Don't think we'll get Schweinsteiger this year, given that they've already released a pretty overpriced um, nonsense SBC for him. Now, in previous years, for example, FIFA 18, we actually got a guaranteed Ultimate Scream SBC. 
I don't think we got that last year, which is really weird. And also in FIFA 18, we also got daily Ultimate Scream SPCs. Another thing that we didn't get last year, which was really, really strange. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe EA is trying to take away from the, the really good value SPCs to try and make us spend more money on packs. That seems the most sensical explanation to be honest, because it is EA at the end of the day, and that's sort of how they do. Um, in terms of preparing for Ultimate Scream, there's no real way of knowing sort of who's going to get into it. Um, looking at it, there's no real pattern. For example, I mean, you look at it and no, it's not their hair. It's not how they look. Or it's not what they're doing. I mean, they're going for, for example, I, I kind of see it with Costa, how he's doing the, the sort of werewolf. But apart from Costa doing a werewolf, I don't actually get anybody else they just either look like they're screaming or they're panicking and i mean i guess it's ultimate scream at the end of the day but i mean mascherano is not exactly screaming is he so why why all these are in here i don't know there's no real pattern or explanation for it so there's no real way of trying to guess who's going to be out of packs for the week now how should you prepare i mean it's not the worst idea in the world to sort of bid on a few plays from Halloween themed teams. For example, Wolves, Werewolves. That's that's sort of my logic when looking at these. So it's not the worst idea in the world to bid on some of these players. Uh, maybe win a few, stick them in your transfer list if you're looking to try and make a few coins. Um, like I said, there's no real way of knowing sort of who's going to be in and who's not going to be in. So I can't sit there and give you players to buy hoping they're going to be out of packs and rise a little because i just don't think they will one thing i will say is that we will get some packs no doubt about it and that will push some players prices down a little bit given the amount of promo packs ea released for these sort of things last year i know they released like four or five promo packs on the first two days uh four or five sets of promo packs that is so um so they might release the same sort of numbers and given that they've released two different sets of promo packs 15 in total just for the team of the week that is a very average if not poor team of the week this week it kind of shows exactly what their intentions are if, if if i say so myself so if i were you i would probably i would probably uh sell a few of your more expensive players um maybe the rashfords the martials you know the lower rated ones that will get packed quite often um that go for quite a lot of money i would possibly sell those in anticipation and buy them back sort of the same day as the promo packs like later on in the night because they will go down quite a bit during the promo packs when they get released um so it's not the worst idea in the world to do that i'm not really an investor and a trader um so i can't give you a whole lot of, of idea on how to prepare i would possibly prepare some first owners from some scary themed teams as well uh it wouldn't surprise me if ea released some objectives that require first owners from players like wolves things like that really um that's such an ea thing to do and it wouldn't surprise me at all if that's what they did do um so i would possibly prepare like a first owner team ready for that or a team with like seven first owners in because that's what they seem to be doing lucky number seven over there at ea um so that's how i would personally prepare for that like i said ea seemed pretty stingy with sbcs this year um obviously we've got this swine Steiger that looks a good card but it's like 200,000 coins plus not worth a Bamiyang's pretty decent value. I just don't want to complete it. Velo's not the worst in the world. Pretty decent value. Half decent looking card as well. Um, but there's no real pack SBCs this year. Like, for example, um, I mean, we've had advanced SBCs, but they kind of stopped after like three. So, I mean, or four, sorry. Um, whereas in previous years, I know we've had more advanced SBCs released along the course of the year. We've had random player SBCs released. Um, so, I mean possibly would be nice if they released a few more and especially with their promo incoming so we'll have to see i mean once to watch was pretty in my opinion underwhelming obviously you'll have your own opinion on that but in my opinion a bit underwhelming um in terms of the content release but we will have to see uh the end on belly was like the only thing that was good from uh from objectives that they released for once to watch so but hopefully they release some free ultimate screen players in, in the objectives as well that'd be pretty cool i mean to round off am i excited for ultimate screen <sighs> I'm excited to see what objectives we get. I'm looking forward to that. The objectives are definitely going to be the saving grace of any promo this year, I feel like. Um, not really too bothered about promo packs. Hopefully, we get some decent SBCs. Hopefully, we get some cool ways to integrate players into squads. Um, I'd love if they release players like, I don't know, some cool left-backs and right-backs from leagues that don't have too many. Or some cool centre-backs being converted up to strikers or something. You know, silly things that are going to be fun in Ultimate Team to use 
Because EA seemed to forget a lot about the fun this year. It seems way more about the competitive nature of the game and not so much about having a ton of fun as well. And I think that that fun is definitely the, the aim of the game here. But that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed, smash a like down below. Let me know down below if you're looking forward to Ultimate Scream. Thank you all for your support. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you lads later.